Alright, here we are. Canadian junkyard. Okay, pro tip here. Hey folks, welcome back to your favorite YouTube show, Fixing Random Crap with Craig. Today we're uh, we're working on the pool. We've had a bit of an algae problem in our uh, in our concrete pool, which I'll show you the algae issue in a second, and uh, just kind of keeps coming back. Um, even though we follow the directions to, you know, super chlorinate the pool, uh, to really, really, really just nuke it to get rid of that algae. And it does go away for a while, but then comes back. So we took a shot at uh, changing the sand in our filter. And uh, I will tell you that the filter sand was disgusting. It was just gross. Uh, this filter here was a little off kilter. She was leaned a little bit that way. And uh, that was because the floor had given out down below which you can see so um, we uh, we got all the sand out and we um, laid some bricks down there we compacted the ground it's not much room to work in here but we got uh, got her compacted and laid some bricks down so it's way more solid now it's uh, that is not moving anywhere and uh, and it should be pretty good but interestingly uh, I want to show you what so this filter is just empty right now can't really see much down there with no light but just empty we just put the drain plug back in her and uh, this this is the piece that goes on top most of you're probably familiar with if you've got your pool and it allows you to backwash and put her on filter or recirculate or rinse or whatever um, that's held on with these couple of jobbies here there's two of those that allow you to just pop that thing right off you need to be real careful i'm going to show you what happened to us you need to be real careful when you pop that off because i think it was already weak it might have been a little bit cracked, but we uh, we broke it. This is the piece that I'm talking about. I'll show you the pool is a little bit green. I don't know how well that comes through on the on the video, but we keep getting algae on the walls, and uh, it's been a real struggle. So we're hoping that, uh, like I say, that this sand change may contribute to fixing it up. I know that our surface of the concrete pool is old and rough. So we're going to look at fixing up a lot of that too, but uh, we thought we would check this out first. So this, this is what lives at the bottom of your filter, and uh, these arms pull up so that you can, they pull all the way up so that you can slide it out. This is hard to do with one hand, but imagine all of those up like that, and then you can just pull it, boom, right up out of the filter. And uh, what happens as the pool is filtering, uh, the water shoots out uh, around this tube not into this tube, around it, down through the sand, goes into these fingers, your new filtered water, sucks in, goes up the tube, back out to your pool through the heat or, or whatever if you have one. Now, what happened to us is that this, this tube here just sheared right off. This is the end of the, uh, this is the end of the tube. This is actually a really thin tube. Um, this is the piece that was stuck in that slot there. Um, because it had just sheared off right at this edge, you know, and I think that's a common place where they they tend to go So I went to uh, the Pool store and they had a hard time getting me the part and then I went to another public pool store and uh, They had the parts $160. You have to buy this entire mechanism um, It's called the lateral assembly and um, And it's uh, it's expensive 160 bucks um, And the guys, you know at the first pool store I had asked them. I said can I just buy this pipe? Can I buy a pipe to replace this? They said, no, we don't sell the pipes. And I looked over just right behind the guy that was talking to me. He had a whole pile of these pipes. And I said, well, what's wrong with that pipe? And he said, well, that's a piece of a ladder. That's a ladder pipe for a pool ladder. I said, well, let me look at it. And I put it next to this pipe. And, geez, it's right the same. Like, it's the same pipe. Let me line her up here for you. Look at that. Just like they were the same thing. And, you know, it might. this one might be narrower. Like, the new one might be narrower, I find, by maybe a half a millimeter or something, not much. Um, but what this, this top piece of the pipe needs to fit into a, um, into like the, the cap of the, the thing with the controls, I don't know what they call that, the controller goes down there and it, it, it sits on that pipe. It has a little pipe that goes over there and it was a, little, a tiny bit loose, but they had O-rings at the store. So I got an O-ring that fit on and then we tested it on one of the Hayward uh, heads at the store and uh, fit great. 
So I'm not really sure if this is gonna work. I have glued this on and we're giving it some time to dry. Um, and we're gonna see what happens, if this works or not, because it's $160 for the new part. It's only $300 for a new filter altogether. And uh, to be honest, I'm not sure how much life this pool has left in it anyway, so I'm not really looking to invest a whole lot of money. But this pipe cost me $11, and the O-ring was $2.49. So we're going to see um, we're gonna see how this works, and we will, we'll, we'll keep you up to date on progress. Here we go. Hey, folks, we're back. We have put our contraption into the bottom of our new clean filter, and uh, it survived. It wanted to kind of float up. Um, people say fill it up about halfway with water and then uh, once you put this thing in first put in the, the, the vertical assembly uh, fill it about halfway made the mistake of letting the hose run a little too long she was almost full right to the top and uh, that becomes a problem because as you put the sand in the water needs somewhere to go um, and of course it wanted to come over the top and would have wanted to go into my little uh, into the top of the vertical assembly we didn't want that so we'd take the, the drain plug out Again, to let a little bit of drain out, but now we are we got the new sand in, and uh, it seems as though our, our Jimmy rigged uh, vertical assembly has survived so far, and uh, we're going to attempt to put the the lid back on her, and uh, hook everything back up, and we're going to fire it up and see what happens, and we're going to start in backwash to be able to get all the the dust off the rocks, and uh, we'll we'll see how she goes. And then we're going to get out here, well, I don't know if this is going to make the video or not, but this this is leaking, that elbow. I can't imagine how it leaks, like it looks beautiful, um, but it started leaking recently. So that's, uh, we're going to fix that up. That's that's what started this whole this whole day here, and we decided to tackle the sand at the same time. So more to come. One more real quick uh, clip here is this is the, uh, the piece that was stuck in the... Uh, vertical assembly. So this is the base of that pipe that uh, was below where it had sheared off, below that edge. And the kind of a tricky part was getting that out. And what I found worked well was a, uh, like an X-Acto knife or utility knife, just trying to score an edge. Um, and then like a little chisel like this to just kind of get it on the edge. Imagine if it was in that thing and kind of like pry it out, kind of like that. And that seemed to work pretty well to get it out. Uh, it was very poorly glued in, actually. So, um, well, I mean, it came out pretty easy, actually. So maybe that means it, I don't know about what the science is behind glue, but it came out a lot easier than I thought. So anyway, that's the uh, that was the trick for getting it out, and then kind of sand it up a bit so that it would adhere to the new uh, the new pipe. We'll be back when we're ready to do our test run. When we're ready to turn on the pump, we're just letting some glue dry right now. Hey, folks, this is the. Uh these are the pipes here at the local pool store and has uh, these are apparently part of an above ground step system so it would be the pole to be able to give you a handle when you're getting out of the step it's called the Aquarius step system so that is the pipe that we use in our vertical assembly okay folks we're back with a uh, with an update it's uh, about a week later and um, Pool's looking, pool's looking quite a bit better. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Oh, thanks. That's great. Pool's looking quite a bit better. Um, still a little bit of algae, but way less than we were experiencing before. So I think the sand change has has made a difference, and um, our vertical assembly is uh, is holding on well. That was the big concern as to whether that was going to work or not. Um, it is it has held for a week now, so I have no reason to believe why it won't uh, hold for much longer than that. Apparently, if that was failing, we would be seeing a lot of sand at the, uh, at the bottom of the pool near our inlets, near our returns. Uh, there's one over there, and there's one right about there. And uh, we're getting none of that. So I think that the uh, $11 ladder pipe from the Aquarius above-ground pool system, but probably, I mean, probably all ladder pipes, I mean, I imagine they're probably pretty standard, um, will work and save you from having to purchase an entire new lateral assembly when you've only really uh, broken one little piece. So anyway, hope this uh, video was helpful for you. All right, take her easy. Clean on us. Okay, you say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, YouTube.
Okay, last chance. Let's go quick. Ah, good. Later, YouTube.